Hello and thank you for joining us for a video spotlight on Pinot Noir. Now we had a Pinot Noir tasting on Wednesday evening and it was a bit of a success. We had some nice wine. We've got to try eight different examples of the most ethereal of grape styles and we were particularly pleased because two of the most favourites enjoyed by the guests were two wines that are brand new in store. So Mike and I are going to run you through them now. And the first wine that was enjoyed the most was the Pflüger Durkheimer Pinot Noir. In Germany Pinot Noir also goes by the name of Spätburgunder, Blauburgunder, and it's grown in an area that is in Fals, the driest part of the country, and this is ideal temperature and conditions for Pinot Noir grape. It's a bit of a sensitive grape, uh, it requires warm sunny days and cooler nights to maintain the balance of fruitiness and acidity within the grape. Uh, and this, as a style of Pinot Noir, is a light to medium bodied, it's got some lovely notes of wild strawberry and ripe cherry on the nose. Mm. Always very pale German Pinot Noir. Um, it's got sort of a nice underlying spiciness to it. It's a really, it's a really sort of grown up style of Pinot Noir. Mm, that kind of peppery quality that you get at the end. Uh, and 1999 is part of a case, which we think is uh, fantastic. Mm, that is delicious. Um, the next one we're going to show you is a new Premier Cru Red Burgundy into the range. Now, um, we've been chasing after this sort of wine for a little while, and it's it's difficult to find something that we think is interesting enough, of high enough quality and the right price. And um, we were delighted when we found this from Jaffelin. Um, so the, the one we're going to show you is the Auxi de Ress. It's a Premier Cru Les de Ress vineyard. Um, this is wine right in the heart of the Côte de Bain, so to the west of Merso, just in the, in, inside from Volnay, so on a slightly, uh, slightly higher elevation. Um, and it produces a really typical um, Burgundian Pinot. But we were really impressed. We tried this as sort of a little bonus bottle at the end of the tasting, and um, it had a it had a real elegance. But it, the thing that was most impressive was the, the depth of flavour. So, assuming it has, oh yeah, it's, it's opened up even more. So on the nose, it's already quite a lot bigger. It's a deeper colour than the German wine. It's even a even an almost Kirsch Cassis type flavour that, that runs through. You're getting uh, slightly more grip, just a, a tiny bit of, of, of structure to it, which will make it an ideal with food, but it's got a really lovely, long, refreshing acidity. And it goes and goes. So it's one of those wines that I particularly love because the first the first mouthful, the first hit, hit you get of flavour is this lovely fruit. And uh, as it comes up, you get you, you start to taste the grip, start to taste some of the earth, you know, it's a tiny hint of smoke, and then into that long, lovely acidity on the finish, it gives you sort of three or four different flavours as you uh, as and after you swallow, which I, I always look for in a high quality wine. Um, so we're really pleased to be bringing this in at, at £35. Pounds. Um, and both wines are available to, to taste on the counter this weekend until they're gone, so hope to see you soon. Rush in. Cheers.